This is the real Tom Rose, and this question is difficult because they use some wicked complicated terminology in here. So um, con a rhombus has consecutive sides. So I don't know what they mean by consecutive sides, but um, in a rhombus, all the sides have the same length, right? Much like a square, um, part of the definition of rhombus is all the sides have the same length. So when they say, well, there's two sides on a rhombus, and they measure 3x plus 10 and 2x plus 15, what that tells me is that 3x plus 10 equals 2x plus 15. Which, so this is kind of silly. Um, I guess they're just testing, do you know that a rhombus has sides with the same measure? Um, so this is x equals 5, if you solve for it. So that is a length. Then they tell us, um, in this rhombus, so a rhombus is, is a diamond, basically. All sides the same length, which means these angles are the same, and these angles are the same. So the rhombus has a short side and a long, sorry, a short diagonal and a long diagonal. And they're telling you one of the angles is 12 times x, um, which in this case is 12 times 5, which is 60. So 60 degrees is one of the angles here. It must be the shorter angle. And when you add up the um, when you add up all the angles in a quadrilateral, it must equal 360. So you know that these are 120, right? So these are actually equilateral triangles stacked on top of each other. And what they've asked for is what is the length of the shorter diagonal? Um, well, if you know that um, one of the sides has length 5, I'm sorry, ooh, the length is not 5, x is 5. Um, the side measures 3, 3 times 5 plus 10, so that would be uh, 15 was, is 25. So if a side measures 25 and they want the length of the shorter diagonal, um, because this is an equilateral triangle, that's the definition of equilateral triangle, actually is um, all sides the same length. So it's 25, 25, and 25. Right, I know it's an equilateral triangle because uh, the angle measures are 60, 60, 60.